On a business park in Cardiff, the new space frontier is taking shape. It's a satellite, but unlike any other. Spaceforge is building the first orbiting factory that will use microgravity to make metal alloys and semiconductors that are impossible to create on Earth. It's the plummeting cost to launch a rocket, now as little as £830 a kilogram, that makes it viable. Probably within the next maybe five, certainly ten years, something you interact with on a daily basis will have a component made in space, whether it's the national grid that you get your power to your house from, or maybe it's in the, the train that you're traveling on. It's definitely going to be in sort of the larger parts of infrastructure that where energy efficiency is really key to, to reducing our carbon footprints. Space Forge will be among several British companies with satellites on the first ever rocket to launch from the UK this September. But put aside all thought of a traditional rocket blasting off from a launch pad. Britain's first liftoff will use the same runway as the holiday flights at Newquay Airport. And the journey to space starts on a jumbo jet. Really, really, really. Virgin Orbit uses Cosmic Girl to carry a 20-metre rocket above the clouds. It's done it from California, but from Newquay, the plane will head over the Atlantic, then fire the engine when on the perfect trajectory to put satellites into an orbit that passes over the North and South Poles. She can now become a, a critical part of launch infrastructure and really give that rocket its first step. 35,000 feet, the better part of Mach 1, two-thirds of the way through the atmosphere before the rocket has to do any work at all. The super clean facility for putting satellites inside the rocket is being fitted out, but there's no other infrastructure needed which keeps costs down. The spaceport will bring good year-round jobs to one of the UK's most deprived regions. We're looking at 150 direct jobs just from Spaceport alone, and that's already happening. Um, but we're looking at another about 240 in the supply chain, ancillary facilities, and activity that will be happening to support launch over the years. Um, the new facilities we're building will house lots of different companies that are already signing up to, to locate here and do lots of different activities in the space industry. The UK is already a satellite building superpower. Having its own spaceport, the first in Europe, will put rocket boosters under an already booming space industry. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Newquay.